Welcome to the Crash Wool Report. My name. <laughs> my name is Danny. Yes. Today we in an email. Someone wrote, Hey Danny, why is some music happy and other music sad? That is an interesting question. I shall like to investigate it. Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Enter the world of music theory. Music theory is the study of how music works. You see, there are a lot of mechanisms at play here. We've got pitch, rhythm, melody, harmony, scale, module, testicular cancer. All of these things come into play, except maybe the last one. So what makes a music happy? Well, usually an untempo beat with a staccato mixed in. For example. And an example of a sad song would be, of course, one with a lot of minor chords. Is here the phantom of the opera? And you're examining any piece of music and say, is there a lot of notes? Or is it long and drawn out? Is it a moaning and a crying? Or does it sound like a hyena laughing? Or is it a sound? See what I'm saying? See what I'm kind of see what I'm getting at? By utilizing the length of the note and the pitch, which the note is delivered, whether high or low, you can make music sound happy. <laughs> or sad. <laughs> so, did that answer your question? Sort of? Probably not. Take a music theory class. I think you'll find it enlightening. Uh, final summation. Some songs are happy, and some songs are sad. Because the composer is f***ing your brain, man. He's totally inside your head. F***ing you. Ah, I'll see you, tasty little lemon drops, on Monday, when we continue our important work.